Lecrae was on Rory and Maul uh, talking about a certain situation at the Super Bowl. Uh, let's hear this. My only goal was to talk to J. Cole about Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is crazy. See, this is the problem. Man, at the Super Bowl. You keep Bowl. trying to spread the word <laughs> at the wrong time. <laughs> he went to St. John's, man. It's a yeah. Catholic school. Yeah. I don't like, and, and the crazy thing about it is I don't like obnoxious Christians. I really don't. I don't yeah. I'm like, people like, they rejected me for the gospel. Nah, you was just a jerk. Right. Like, you was just, like the guy, you're all going to hell. I'm like, yo, I, what do you stop? Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you also did go to a dope spot and say, I, no, you're right. Forget it. Well, he's there trying to shut it down. Because I, I used to, to be an obnoxious Christian. That's right. why I, I'm like, that was down. like Jehovah Witness. Ineffective. Stop yeah, it. Yeah. Just be nice to people and right. be a friendly person. Right. So you went up to Cole and said, I he is Cole. risen. <laughs> I said, Father O'Malley sent me. <laughs> Father O'Malley. <laughs> Got a message for you. Uh, nah, I, I get up to Cole, man, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, what's up, man? He's like, what's going on, bro? I said, let me ask you a question, man. Do you know Jesus? <laughs> I said... I said, have you heard the good word? <laughs> he is risen. I said, you believe in God? <laughs> the Super Bowl. Player. He was like, he trying to watch it. You better have my money. <laughs> Yo, ask it Cole if he knows God at the Super Bowl. Yo, man, I, I just. Yo, that's the spot to ask, though. Myopic. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. <laughs> no common sense. It's why ladies, the drunk dude, like, yo, you ought to be my girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what he's thinking is you're beautiful. Right, right. What he and, means is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, me and you kill the world together, yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what he thinking. So. Yeah. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, man. I just, right. I, I say, you you believe in God? He's like, yeah. yeah. I said, a word. <laughs> So you go to church? He said, I grew up in church, but so you're not a Christian? He's like, I, I really wouldn't. I mean, I grew up in church, but yeah. I really wouldn't say that that's. And I was like, well, you need to call me, bro. Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. <laughs> And so he never uh, called. I said, "No, it gets they never worse. Never numbers. It gets uh, worse. It gets worse. Oh my god!" So he's like, he's like, "All right." He's like, "Um, yeah, just put your number in my phone, man." So I, I put my number in the phone, but I didn't type my name. Don't tell me you put God. Nah. Okay. I didn't type anything. I just put my number in there, and then I gave him his phone back. And then he's like, "All right, bro," and he walks away. And then like I said, "Wait a minute." I didn't even tell you my name, bro. He said, I know who you are. <laughs> Good setup, Sean. Yeah. So I don't remember what he said, but he said, I know who you yeah, are. Yeah, I know who you are. So um, this is a story Lecrae told about when he was drunk at the Super Bowl and he his uh, he was being an obnoxious Christian. He said he hasn't drank since. It's not the point of the story, Crazy. but uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, somebody going to use that. Yeah. Though. yeah, yeah. 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 Is, though. Um, but um, the point is his take on obnoxious Christians. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your opinion of being an obnoxious Christian? I, one, I would say I think there's many different forms and avenues of evangelism. Um, I, I do get what he mean as far as being a good person. So we definitely need to be active in our walk to, you know, let God sanctify us. And I definitely think we need to be prayerful when approaching people and evangelizing to people. Um, but along the lines of like many forms of evangelism, I agree with him in the sense that relational evangelism, that's my jam. I like to build relationships with people, plant seeds, allow God to nurture mm -hmm. and bring that harvest. However, at the same time, God knows what people need. Some people need the extremes of hell, fire, and brimstone. Some people need to know this sin, the result of my sin, unrepentant, willful sin, the destination is hell. Some people need that extremes. But I do believe if we're going to be evangelizing, we need to make sure we're led by the spirit because God knows what they need. Mm. And then we'll be able to deliver it based on that. What's interesting about this is um, if you watch the whole episode, this is why I think Lecrae, um, while the criticism and everybody who kind of talks to him, talks about him. I think this is why he's steadfast at the path he's on because he was able to give him the straight gospel on the show. Like mm. Rory was asking him Ooh. 
like direct why do you believe this and not this why do you believe in christianity and not uh islam why do you believe this and that what was your conversion story and his answers was straight gospel wow right so i think he feels like this was all worth it because i get to have these kind of conversations with these kind of people and they wouldn't listen to anybody else yeah the only only problem is this though the problem is somebody's not going to do that what you just said they're going to take this clip and go Lecrae was drunk and he tried to witness to somebody and that's the sad part about right. that whole I, but again yeah. I don't think he cares about that he yeah. cares he about doesn't. Rory no no you you're, you're, you're absolutely right yeah. he cares about me building a relationship like you just said mm-hmm. building a relationship with somebody so after the fact if Rory is like at his house and he's like Man, God is really speaking. I could call a Craig and exactly. have that conversation. Exactly. Versus yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody saying, Rory, you need to stop or you going to hell because da da da. Rory's and, not yeah, listening yeah, to And it's like, I don't know you, yeah. dude. And or, if, yeah. or even if I accept you, not accept you, but even if I accept what you're saying, um, I get the gospel from you, but then I never see you again, and I'm I'm, I'm all alone and trying to walk this thing out. And just yeah. in case you don't know, Rory, Rory said he grew up in the church, or oh, in the Catholic church, and um, we'll talk about them later. Yeah, we're gonna get into Catholic. <laughs> if we we need to hurry up, though. <laughs> but um, uh, he grew up in the church and he was hurt by the church, so he mm-hmm. says he has a lot of baggage and he stopped being a Christian. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, <laughs> I, I got we don't have this is when I don't have time to talk about these things. I, I do this, um, but um. So that's the context of that's why he has so many questions because yep. this is interesting to him. Yeah. Um, so I do think Lecrae did a good job with that. Um, you're right. Somebody will take this and kind of use it to discredit yeah. Lecrae. But I do think in Lecrae's mind, he is tr- he is aiming for these moments. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you could you could you could uh you know debate whether he does it the right way or approaches it the right way and all this. But I understand why he's motivated to have these moments. Well, I think the the important lesson is that you said that he hadn't drank since this situation, right? Yeah, he said the the drink is not the point. No, but that's a good thing for him because (laughs) it corrected a behavior in him. He brought he saw. He, so yeah. this is this is working on a lot of levels. Right. The point he brought it up to say this is a real life moment. I'm not perfect. Of course. He also caveated and said I don't this is not my life I don't do this anymore so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was not the point of the story the point yeah. of the story is he was an over aggressive Christian in witnessing and is, yeah. is he right about that can you be an over aggressive Christian you definitely can the thing for me is when I go out to sporting events and I see the bullhorns and the Jesus you're going to hell signs that turns me off and I'm already mm-hmm. a believer you know what I'm saying so I'm like I know you're not winning the person that's next to me that's you know about to go out to the strip club and get drunk like this is not effective witnessing him I will opinion. say it can be yeah. there are yeah. people yeah. It, yeah, it it's not effective for everyone it's effective for a few people so mm-hmm. for the few people that it is effective for more power to you it it's not you it's not think. effective to everyone it spirit-led. might make you think but I don't think it's no there are people who are literally Christians now because somebody called them out on the yeah. street yeah. it works for some it's people it's different kind of temperaments like we were talking about Candace Owens like the way she speaks for some people that may be obnoxious and too much but mm-hmm. for some people that may be right on time depending on where you come from or how you grew up so That's it's real. different, mm-hmm. it's different methods that. for different people you gotta just be spirit led on where you're at you can't just use the same method like Paul said I become all things to all men yeah. when he went to Rome he knew the Roman culture when he was in Ephesus when he was in everywhere he went he knew the culture he knew how to speak the language of the mm-hmm. people he didn't compromise the message but he articulated it differently yeah, depending wrong. on where he was so mm-hmm. you yeah. have to be wise a wise one wins souls exactly you know, and so I, think that, wins souls. I think that I think that a lot of what I see is unwise when it's a group like when it's when it's conversation okay that's one thing but when you're just yelling in the bullhorn and holding up the they sign I, yeah. Yeah. There, there are people but, but again you, you're, you're talking it about like conversation the Orlando going, I like that you're talking yeah. about the Orlando Bethels yeah. but there are some people who have bullhorns yeah. that are actually just preaching yeah, yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong that's with that different. that's different the Sermon on the, the Mount will be, Bethel the Sermon situation? on the Mount will be what you would call open air preaching yeah. so he, so, he was on the mountain screaming out at people you feel so what I'm saying you're saying that you have a problem with people who just Condemn people God hates versus, you. Yeah, 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 versus yeah, yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. who was saying, Thou said the Lord, repent, God is coming. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I want to scare somebody exactly. into believing. Yeah. 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 I want to say real quick that I, I respect Lecrae. God know at one point, for me especially, um, pretty early on in my walk, I didn't really didn't understand certain things like when he would come out and say he's not a Christian rapper, but he was doing events at churches and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. And it would frustrate me as a believer because I didn't grow up in Christian hip hop culture, but I know a lot of guys who did who looked up to what he was doing. And they were kind of confused, but I respect him coming out later on saying, hey, 
I didn't always do things the right way. Yeah. I didn't always. He's make, owning it now. He, he owned that, and now he's oh, still yeah. being able to be in these spaces where he's able to talk to people who have influence and, and at least plant seeds. You know, so I think that's pretty dope. The point is, whether you like it or not, Lecrae's in a position that a lot of people pray to be in. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's not you. It's him. So yeah. while he's there. <laughs> Pray for him because he mm-hmm. has an opportunity to make a big impact on a lot of he has an opportunity to make an impact on people who have a lot of influence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if God put him there, pray for him because for there's him. a lot of temptation there. There's a lot of hardship there. There's a lot of critique in his role. Yeah. There would be a lot of critique for you in that role. Christians yeah. got to relax, yeah. man. Christians got to relax. Yeah. So you, know, just, you don't just know pray what for that him. man Yeah, you got to relax and realize this man is human because mm. I, oh my gosh. So even in me, that's why it's good to be sober minded because my my sister made a joke and she was like, I'm so glad you're an evangelist because even when we were drinking with the cousins, you were evangelizing to us then. I'm taking <laughs> shots with them. Do you know Jesus? <laughs> when was the last time you spoke to him? You know? Mm-hmm. So it's like God can still use anything, but there has been times where I was in a situation like Lecrae to where there was a gospel opportunity, but I couldn't articulate well because I was drinking. Mm-hmm. But it's awesome that, that God was still able to use that moment. But that is something Something that was in the back of my mind so if i'm going to certain atmospheres i'm like okay let me make sure that i'm open and available and sober-minded enough to articulate the gospel that is, well. you literally described why god says not to get drunk because mm-hmm. you are a you are an ambassador and you may be called upon to be intoxicated by the holy spirit mm-hmm. but you've already been intoxicated and so he doesn't uh, have a room spirit. yeah you see what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. so sense. so the point is is to stay ready at all times because yeah. you could be in these situations where you need to be sharp you need to be listening to the holy spirit but you aren't sharp because you've decided to 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 let your mind go somewhere else i, I, I want to say this real quick don't downplay what you do <laughs> anybody that's in the christian hip-hop space or christian space because you never know who knows you the fact that he said at the end like yo He's like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't give you my name. He's like, I know who you are. Like, don't downplay because it's like, I'm, I don't get mentioned in these spaces. Some mm-hmm. of these people know who these people are. Even if yeah. they don't. Yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that to encourage you to be mm-hmm. like, encouraged to keep going. To encourage you to like, just because somebody don't know your name doesn't mean that you don't matter. God, right. knows, yeah, God knows your name. He knows exactly yeah. how many yeah. people are going to hear what you say and it's something's going to spark in them. Amen. Even if it's one person is worth it. Mm-hmm. Well, if if yeah. our show was only designed and we put up all these expensive lights so that one person will be sitting at home being like, oh, that's, that's Jesus is God. Yes. That's my concern. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's worth it. Yes. That's my concern. I think for a Christian artist at this point, you're going to have a lot of people who are glad that Lecrae has had the impact that he had. But on the flip side, you're going to have a lot of artists just being real who looking at this as an opportunity for them yeah, to probably exactly. get some clout and get some get some recognition. That's, like mm-hmm. we're looking at Christian rappers now, so now they're going to be start doing the most, exactly. trying to trying to do stuff to go viral and be seen instead of just sticking to the main that's thing. What, that's mm-hmm. why you can't let this. Th- that's why I was encouraged Lecrae, D1, and anyone else. This should not matter to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you get an opportunity to get on a big stage. Try your best to tell your heart to chill out. <laughs> Even though you're gonna, your, your heart's going to be bouncing up and down, you're going to be like, oh, this is an amazing opportunity. Oh, so-and-so's over there. I got to go talk to them. You have to tell your heart to chill out because mm-hmm. that is not why you're there. <laughs> yes. you're, he allowed you to be there only so that you can make him famous, not to make yourself yes, famous. Make yeah. So it's a natural reaction. Yeah, yeah. Tell yourself to calm down. You have to. You have to. Yeah. Amen. Um, and, sorry. I was going to say, yeah. circling back to the ambassador of Christ, don't think that like your importance is parallel to a platform. Because like this generation, everybody want to have a YouTube channel. Everybody want to have... Y- y- God wants... Okay, I'm sorry. All of us matter to the Lord, and He wants all of us to be a witness for Him, each and every one of us, whether you have a platform on a podcast or if you're a CHH rapper. Like like He said, don't downplay who you are. The demons, as a child of God, the demons know who you are. So mm, just because a million people don't know you, a hundred people don't know you, people are still watching you, and they're watching your life. So just be sober, and just let be Holy Spirit-led, and be willing and equipped to share the gospel with people. All right, so let's watch.